Do you dream of building an online business that pays you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even when you're not directly working on your business? In this video, I am going to reveal how I built a thriving online business, and I'm gonna reveal seven tips that are going to help you along on your journey. So watch this entire video if you are trying to scale. Watch this video if you are just getting started. Hi, my name is Alston Godbolt with AustinGodbolt.com. I create content to actually help you make money online and not just to put money into my own pockets. And if you wanna be added to the globe, comment down below with your city state zip code province or country and i'll get you pinned all right so as i mentioned what we're going to do today is i'm going to reveal seven tips tricks tactics whatever you want to call them that has helped me build a thriving online business and if you look around anyone that's really successful online you're going to see a very common theme these seven tips apply to every single online business that you come across tip number one get one thing working first i know we are all multi-passionate we are all multi-faceted individuals that have a variety of things that we like to talk about but if you want to be successful Get one thing working first. Get one niche working first. Get one online business venture working first, and then you can move on to other things. Now, the reason why you want to wait and get the first thing working first, essentially, is because you don't really know what it takes to be successful. You don't really know the time, energy, and effort it takes to be successful, especially with multi-different business ventures or multi-different things. And that's exactly what I did. I focused all of my energy on one thing, and then once I was able to make $3,000 per month or make $5,000 per month with that one thing, it enabled me to see and what it took me to actually be successful. Now, once you get one thing working first, that will enable you to understand what it takes and you'll be able to get that second and third thing working much quicker. A lot of people that I work with, they wanna have multiple niches, but I think in the very beginning, just get one thing working first. That's gonna give you the confidence. That's gonna take a lot of pressure off of you to find success. And so I think you'll be much better, faster, farther, stronger, make more money if you just get one thing working first and then branch off into other business ventures. Number two, and if you've been around my content a long time, you know I'm going to say consistency and persistent. Now, you have to be consistent and persistent in order to be successful online. Consistently means showing up every single day, even when you don't want to. Persistence means fighting through any roadblocks or hurdles that you encounter. When you're first starting an online business, everything is going to feel like an insurmountable task. But I guarantee you, if there's someone out there that is doing what you want to do, being who you want to be, they've had to overcome and encounter the exact same hurdles that you are trying to fight through. It's going to require you to be consistent and persistent every single day because every day if you're just getting started you're going to face a new challenge that you didn't know you were going to face the day before so it's very very important to be consistent and persistent I think that you should show up to your job every single day for the first six months every day and work on your business work towards your business goals in fact I want you to look at your online business or your online side hustle as a second job act like there's a person standing over you that is making you do these tasks even when you don't want to even when you don't feel like it i've said this in the past you are showing up for a boss that you hate you show up for a, a, a job that you hate show up for yourself for six months and see where you are number three give up one old habit now this is a challenging thing for people to accept in order to make way for something new which is your online business you're gonna have to get rid of something old for me i gave up video games i also gave up watching tv now i'm not telling you you've got to go to those extremes but if you want a successful thriving online business you have to give up something old in order to make way for something for something new. Now that's going to be a highly contested talking point, but I truly believe it because right now we feel like we don't have any time in the day. We wake up, we go to work, we come home and we may deal with family, eat dinner and then go to bed. But you're gonna have to find something to give up. One of the easiest ways to figure out what you can give up is simply tracking your time. If you're watching Netflix for an hour, give that up. If you are scrolling on TikTok for 20 minutes, give that up and that will free up the time that you don't have to work on your online business. So in order to be successful, give up one old habit. I know it's hard to do, I know it's tough, but you're gonna have to do it if you want a thriving, successful online business. Number four, go against the grain. Now, in every single industry, there are commonalities. There is a commonly held theme. People tend to think and move and gravitate the same way. In this niche, everyone will tell you, or a lot of people will tell you, that there's a fast way to make money online. There's quick cash. You can get paid with PayPal gift card. You can make $7 every 30 seconds. If you wanna be successful, go against the grain, because there's always gonna be people on the other side of that that need a leader, that are looking for someone to lead them and for someone to call out the industry BS. Oftentimes it's called calling out the elephant in the room, calling out the industry BS, but go against the grain if you truly, truly believe in it. For example, let's say there's a commonly held way to plant tomatoes. 
what you can do is you can go against the grain and say, while a lot of people like planting tomatoes that way, that's not the best way and here's why. Again, when you go against the grain, you call out the industry BS or you call out the elephant in the room, there will be people waiting to be led by you. So go against the grain. Don't feel like you have to be like everyone else. In fact, what I recommend is that you take a new angle to old topics and that'll help you stand out against the rest. Now, a lot of people will say that there is a lot of competition. There's simply a lot of competition if you're creating content and videos like everybody else. But if you go against the grain, there's just as many people on that side waiting to be led. Number five, implement email marketing. Okay, there's a lot of people out there that will say you don't need email marketing, but quite honestly, those people are usually doing email marketing, telling you you don't need to do it. But if you really want to be successful, you want to do email marketing. Email marketing can help you in the short term with content ideas. It will help you maybe sell a digital product. It'll help you in the long term. You'll be able to reach out to them and ask them what challenges are you having. You'll be able to offer them different affiliate products. Now, it is said that for every person you have on your mailing list, that should be one dollar that you make per month. So if you have 10,000 people on your mailing list, in theory, you should be able to make $10,000 per month. Now that number is going to vary depending on your skill set and your ability and how long you've been creating emails. But if you truly want to be successful, both in the short term and the long term, do email marketing. Email marketing is an investment, which I think is a no brainer and mandatory for successful online businesses. Number six, repurpose as much as possible. When you can take one piece of content and try and turn it into 20 or 30. Now that's kind of an exaggeration, but try and repurpose purpose as much as possible. For example, this YouTube video, I could take the seven tips and break them into individual tips. So I've got seven videos there. I can take those videos and then put them on TikTok, Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube, shorts, you name it, I could put them there. And then I could also take this long form video, have it transcribed with a software called Descript and then post it on my blog or my website. Allowing you to repurpose your content allows you to be everywhere or more places without having to dedicate even more time, energy and effort coming up with new content ideas. So I certainly recommend if you want to get the most bang for your buck for content, try and repurpose it. Number seven, and I don't think anyone's going to tell you this, but I want you to read more. I read not because I'm some great scholar. I read because I get content ideas. Reading different books within business about personal development will give me ideas for creating TikTok videos. It'll give me a new perspective on how to think and say different things. Ironically enough, your favorite guru has probably read the books from their favorite guru. For example, Russell Brunson, his guru is Dan Kennedy. Dan Kennedy has a bunch of books out about marketing. So what I recommend that you do, if you want to expand your mind, if you want to expand your opportunity, read a book or two. You don't have to be a fast reader. You're not speed reading. You're not reading for a Pizza Hut personal pan pizza. You're reading for ideas and inspiration. The cool thing about reading is that it allows you to use your imagination as opposed to video content, video courses. Essentially, video courses tell you how to think and what to think and what to do, which kind of restricts your creativity and your ability to create unique original content. So that's going to be one that probably you will never hear again, but make sure that you are reading a little bit more. There are a ton of books out that I recommend that you take a look at. I actually created a podcast episode with a list of books a few years ago at this point, but read a little bit more. And a bonus tip, don't be afraid to invest in yourself. Now, I'm not talking about just buying courses. I'm talking about getting a website, email marketing, anything that's going to help you grow your business. There are a bunch of business tools that you can use to grow your business further, faster, quicker. And I recommend that you take the time to invest in yourself. I know that money can be tight, a budget can be tight, but if you invest in yourself, that'll help you save time, which ultimately can help you make more money. For example, email marketing. If you are not doing email marketing, you're missing out on the opportunity to email people and make money with affiliate marketing in other ways. If you are manually collecting emails, let's say you're using a Google form and you're manually collecting those emails, it's going to take you much more time to send out those emails to type them out. However, if you invest in email marketing, you will allow yourself to automate that task of collecting the email, sending out autoresponder emails. So I certainly recommend that investing in yourself is a huge, important aspect of building a thriving online business because with email marketing, you can actually put yourself in a position to make money 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now that you know my seven tips for building an online business, watch this video next because it is a free five hour masterclass on how you can monetize social media.